Hi friends, I'm back again. Today we are going to see how to install Zenue on Asus Z Phone Max Pro M1. To install this ROM, you want to unlock the bootloader and to install the TWRP. So the links are given below. Just check that videos. So step one: wipe all except the internal and the SD card. So this video will be around six minutes. Follow the guides as per given in the video. So if you have any doubts, just check it on the description below. So after this process, you want to install the Viper OS version 8.1 as a base ROM for the Venter. So it takes up to two to three minutes. Step 3. Wipe Data Catches Delvin Catches System And it's very important, don't wipe Venter because it's very important. If you have any doubts, just mention on the comment box. If you want many ROM reviews, just press the red color button. So number 4. To install the image file as a system file, so just press the system image and swipe to flash. So this method can be done for Redmi 4A, Redmi Note 4 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. If any 4A users watching this video, hit a like button. So go to the mount, take the system and the venter. If the catches and the data is mounted, so don't bother about that. Now number 6, install all the patches. Follow the order wise as I mentioned in the video. First you want to flash Zenue patch 1. Next you want to flash Zenue patch 2. And next Zenue patch 3. So don't forget this order. If you mismatch the order, so the ROM will be not boot to the home screen. So number 7 go to the mount and take the system again. Now go to install flash Zenue fix and SGSA fix. Next you want to flash SE Linux fix to boot the ROM and this wants to run before flashing Majestic. If you have any doubts, if you have questions regarding the ROM, if you want to talk to the developers, you want to download or try many ROMs or you want to test the new ROMs, so join in our telegram group, the links are given in the description below. And this is important, go again to the mount and mount the system and go to the file manager of TWR and search for system folder and go to etc file and you want to delete the two xml files. So that's all about today, we are successfully flashed the Zenue on the Asus Z4 Max Pro M1, now it's booted and we are on the setup screen and this is the UI, they want to give us a stable ROM for us but unfortunately they are giving few stock Android as a stock ROM even it's gone be one month, still stock ROM stuck on the October patch update even they are not giving security patch updates, so what Asus thinking about that we are don't know and we are waiting for the Pi update, they confirmed the Pi update for the February month Maybe on that February, they can release the 9.1 ROM. So from the Google operating system. Now the Asus released the M2 phones also. So but they promised us to give the Q and the P update. But they are fails to give the update. So that's all about today. If you like the video, thumbs up or thumbs down. And I forgot to say the fingerprint is working on this ROM. Very good. And before two days, Asus given a good thing to us. They released an encrypted source code. It's a kernel code to the developers. But why they are releasing encrypted source code? What Asus you are trying to do? I don't know about you.
and if you like the video thumbs up or thumbs down comment me in the comment box below and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss our updates and if you want to see more rome, re rome review videos just go and search take your gum and subscribe and you can see the more rome reviews like this so bye we will meet you in the next video